Got it, got it, got it. Operating room, that was a good one. So, uh, you're acting out in your film noir scene, it's set in an operating room. Whenever you're ready. Haha, uh -huh. go ahead. <laughs> I'd been looking for Dr. Lee Antoni for 15 years. He was one of the worst plastic surgeons known to man. 15 people ended up with noses on the back of their heads and ears in places that made it hard for them to listen. This was a man who escaped justice for too long. It was my job to bring him in. Hi, I'm here to help you with your operation. I'm not undercover or anything. Really? You must be the new guy. Yeah. I wasn't expecting a new guy. As a matter of fact, I operated by myself. But I thought I'd test him out, see if he knew what he was doing. Scalpel. That's the pointy thing, right? <laughs> I made my first mistake. But luckily, I was a quick thinker, and I knew how to cover. <laughs> Just kidding. I now knew he wasn't who he said he was. When handing a scalpel, you never do it pointy end first. Could <laughs> you help me out here? Sure, what are you operating on? It's a nose. <laughs> sure, you seem to know all the jargon. the way he was started to slice it off. To me, a nose is something you have on the front of your face. Makes it easier to smell. I'm just a private dick, but I know these things. <laughs> All right, Antony. The game is up. I know you're rearranging people's faces because you want to look better. <laughs> I had no idea what he was talking about. But I went along with him. Yeah, sure. I found this plan in your desk drawer where you're going to rearrange the faces of everybody in the world so you will be the best looking person in the world and then it sort of dribbled off after that I was bluffing I could tell by looking at him I had already worked on him 